Yeah, this is Jacob, our little son. Hi, Jacob. Jacob, say hi. Jacob, say hi. He's busy just watching. Okay. <laughs> okay. You belong we to are, We are a Syriac Orthodox. So uh, it's uh, one of the ancient churches. And we were the first group believe in Jesus by uh, Antioch. So, uh, and we are like uh, Aramaic. So, and we're talking uh, Aramaic language, and it's the Jesus language. So, it's uh, so ancient and holy language, and we are so proud of it. Yeah. And um, so, our church, it's called the Syriac Orthodox Church. Unfortunately, we don't have a Syriac Orthodox Church here in Omaha. So, we're attending the uh, Greek Orthodox Church, and it's so close. How is to be living in the same city with people of different religion? I just want to know, was it peaceful to live in your city? Um, to be honest, it depends on uh, the city, depend on the country, and how you've been uh, grown up, and you're, uh, you live with the people with them peaceful, because um, we do not care about religion when, we, when it's coming to relationship. It's all the matter, personality. So how they are, they are being a friend. If they are good, yeah, they are most welcome. And even we share like a, like a celebration between each other. We don't have any problem, and uh, we exchange visit. And uh, I have my, uh, you know, I have too many uh, friend Muslim back in Syria, even here. We don't have a problem as as different religion. Yeah, it's, it's the not matter. Our consideration no, all, it's it's all the matter is personality. You know yeah. what? It's all about. Uh, we don't care what's religion, what's color, where you coming from. It's all the matter of personality. All right. How did you guys come to Omaha? Well, me, I uh, came uh, as immigrant, and that's back in 1998, and I decided to stay here forever, and I started working on my uh, improve my language and uh, start looking for a job and uh, working with First Data for a living. Uh, uh, were you a student? Did you come over as a student? No, or immigrant. Just immigrant. Just immigrant. Okay. And Hadil? Yeah, I came here uh, through while we got married in Syria and I came here through him in 2000, May 2010. So almost like nine years. How did you guys meet? Oh, okay. Um, this is a long story, but, yeah. you know, uh, we are living in the same uh, city. Yeah. And uh, she was uh, my uh, niece teacher. And my niece recommended to me, and we uh, <laughs> went through all too many steps. Yep. There are steps involved? Yeah. Yeah, like we uh, just uh, uh, hang out through the social media, and he came back, we met, and we feel like we're clicking together, and this is how it's going. <laughs> And now you have two boys. Yeah, yes. we, after I came here, we had Jason on 2011, and he's first grade, and we have Jacob, he's a three. How big is Syrian community here in Omaha? Well, let's say it's, it's not that big. Like, uh, so our relationship, it's not just with the Syrian people with the Middle Eastern, like, in general. So, uh, let's say because we're all talking the same language, we're all sharing the same culture, so that's why, like, most of, like, our relationships, it's with uh, Middle Eastern, though. And as we talked before, like, most of our friends are just, we're all mixed between Christian and Muslim, and we're all kind of one family here. So, we don't count as all for religion. And I, I need to add something too. It's not like, you know, uh, we just have a uh, uh, friend from Middle East. No, we have American families as our friend. Uh -huh. We have a, a family from Kosovo as a friend. And we know a family from Albania too as a friend. So it's not as, as the matter is, it's friend to friend. What is the tradition? How do you celebrate Christmas? Is it is it different from the way Christmas is celebrated here in the United States? There is a little bit of uh, difference, okay, but in a common, it's like, you know, we do decoration, we decorate a house, uh, and um, we do the Christmas tree, and of course, um, the most likely, uh, what I like about the Christmas back there is, um, I remember uh, my dad used to have us to go to church first, and after the church is done, He's going to take us to the, his oldest brother, so which is my oldest uh, uncle. 
and we exchange, uh, we go back there and uh, they pass candy around. And in my time, we didn't have any present at that time. So they were passing money for the kids, not for everybody, just like for the kids. You, as, you guys as, were, we're lucky though, yeah. having cash. <laughs> yeah, so we were kind of like, uh, uh, after that it's been, you know, um, from the day, the Christmas till a new year, it just like exchange visit between a friend, uh, family member, um, <laughs> relatives, and we just go back and forth and celebrate during that uh, seven days. Uh, on 80s, we start having a, uh, like, we call it Papa Noel, which is Santa Claus. So we were having a, a Papa Noel coming on a New Year Eve. So uh, we don't have a, uh, we didn't have a Santa on a Christmas Eve as here. Let's stay right there. Which one was more celebrated, Christmas or New Year's back then? And how about now? Yeah, so Christmas, it's all about a, um, going to the church, then exchanging visits. But the main uh, like celebration, it's the New Year Eve because it's getting, like it used to be as a big party, dancing, um, like uh, exchanging gifts for sure, and uh, like staying till early mornings, just like dancing and having fun. And uh, the New Year is uh, most oh, celebrated because all people celebrate. It's got nothing to do with the Christianity yeah, because exactly. Muslim they celebrate and yeah, all together. Why? Because it's just like at the end, it's the end of the year. But Christmas is like specifically it's for Christian. So yeah. you have two brothers yeah, here. Is yeah, that right? Yeah. Do you keep so, the yeah. tradition? Yeah, we keep the tradition and but depend on you know the life it's lifestyle here is totally different. It's not like like back there. So sometimes if you off that day, yeah, we take him. Sometimes if you're working, yeah. it's lifestyle totally involved in this. But yes, I do. I take him and we exchange the visit, exchange the gift. And sometimes, you know, they come in and having dinner with us here or we go have a dinner with them. Yeah. So I'm trying to do my best. Yeah, and deliver to my kids and just like, you know, kind of like uh, let everything as as before yeah because we celebrate christmas here as the as its mm. usual here which is the christmas eve and santa coming yeah. in christmas eve and in the christmas morning we we open all the uh, presents no. Jake. Sure, like on christmas it's always about um making <coughs> let's say a roast beef it should be like a big piece of meat so usually we do lamb like so let's say like maybe a leg of lamb or like a roast beef and it should be like rice on the side and like other appetizers. So, but the main meal, it should be like the leg of lamb or the roast beef. And for sure we do the, uh, the stuffed grape leaves and we do the, there is other uh, uh, traditional, we do the kibbe and it's kind of meatballs, it's a fried meatballs. And so a lot of um, uh, like Middle Eastern food. And dessert? Baklava. For sure. Baklava. Yeah, we do the baklava, we do the knafe, we do ma'amul um, and klicha. So they are kind of cookies, uh, but they are like Mediterranean cookies. All stuffed with pistachio or walnut. And um, we do serve on, so let's say after uh, Christmas, after going to, uh, to the church and then you're going to exchange visits. So we serve um, a liquor with a Jordan almonds. And the liquor my mom used to make at home, and it's kind of a mix between the scotch and the sour uh, cherries. Then we serve them on a shot glasses, just with a kind of like Merry Christmas, like uh, with a Jordan almonds. Mm -hmm. So this is how it like how it used to be. Unfortunately now, like no one making that, we call it ambaria, no one making ambaria yeah. anymore. So we're just uh, having like Irish cream or something just like shots or liquor, just like to, to feel like we're celebrating Christmas as back home. Oh <laughs> you, you give her like, you know, the best topic question here is the menu. So it's gonna go on and on and it will not be enough, yeah. <laughs> All right, well, how do you say Merry Christmas in your language? Okay, so <coughs> as a, because we are Aramaic, so we said in Aramaic, we said the Eid of Rijo, that's mean uh, like uh, uh, 
that's mean like holly, holiday for you. And in Arabic, we say, Kil sine wa intun sarmin. That's mean like, uh, we wish you every year to be happy. So, in dif- too many different languages, but usually we say, Aido brijo or Kil sine wa intun sarmin. Aido brijo. Aido brijo. Yeah, yes. this is the, the Aramaic. Uh, the language. Aramaic language. Oh. And in Arabic, we said, Kil sine wa intun sarmin. That's mean like, we wish you every year to be happy. I'm going to say that in Albanian. Okay. Kuzur Krishlindia. Okay. That's hard. Tough on me. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you guys. Thank you. Thank you.